Guys, Steve and Alex here from Top Guns out of Terre Haute, Indiana. Uh, we posted a video about this earlier. We wanted to A, make a couple of corrections, and B, update you on what we know so far. So earlier today, we are standing in the shop and we hear a large bang. We were actually doing a live video. We were doing a live video. During this. So if you watch the other live video prior to this, you'll hear a big bang at the end of it. Uh, so. Big bang, everybody runs out to see what, what's going on. And a, a client had brought a gun in. It was a bolt action rifle. The safety was a three position safety, which means similar to like a Mauser type action. And so what you do is, you, for those of you that are not familiar, the last position locks the bolt on that type of gun. And so it doesn't allow it to, to move at all. Well, naturally, in our shop, and hopefully in every shop, one of the first things you do when someone brings a firearm in is you clear the firearm and make sure that it is empty. So, uh, as go ahead. So, so what we really want to focus on, the reason we're making this video is that we want to stress safety. Okay, um, we've made previous videos on this, as you see, "Don't be this, be that guy" video, and other videos we've done in the past. But that's why it's so important to make sure that if you are traveling with your firearm. If you're bringing in, especially to a, a firearms dealer like ourselves, you know, there's a bunch of dealers out there that bring this kind of stuff up that say, hey guys, check this out. It, was there an issue? Phone's almost dead. Oh, okay. <laughs> Try it again? No, we're not dead. Oh, okay, cool. I think we're still alive. All right, still alive. So that's why it's so important for everybody to, you know, check your firearm before you leave your house. Make sure you're safe before you ever hand it over to somebody else like ourselves. And the, the situation that we got into today was the, the firearm was loaded, it was chambered, the bolt was locked, the safety was on, okay? When our employee put it in a safe direction, which was towards the wall here, at no one, well, no one around, they tried to release the bolt. And on this three position safety, you need to put it in the middle and lock the bolt open, and it was loaded, okay? But in this situation, we again, we don't know if there was a malfunction with the safety or the trigger, we're not sure. But when he put it forward to the safety, the firearm went off. And that's why it's so important, that's why we're making this video, to make sure that everyone understands this. Um, that it should be your number one priority, okay? If you're bringing a firearm in to sell to a gun shop or anybody, transporting it, putting it up on your shelf, putting it up on your uh, your bench when you're going out to the fire, or excuse me, firing range, you should make sure that thing is clear. So, uh, the things that we'd point out, we did look, we went back and watched the video. Naturally, one of our first questions was, was his finger on the trigger or did it accidentally swipe the trigger? We were, we were able to confirm, not only through eyewitnesses, but also with video to back it up, his finger did not touch the trigger. So, so the next thing is, uh, as with, as we all do when we're looking at the general rules of safety, we want to make sure we're always pointing that firearm in a safe direction. We're thankful that we had a, what I'd consider to be a veteran uh, employee that was able, it's a nice way of saying old, right? Well, yeah, sure. Uh, he has a lot of experience and he did point the firearm in a safe direction. When the firearm uh, did discharge, it was aimed towards a concrete wall. Uh, the downside, it was also aimed, which we're going to show you, it was also aimed at our vending machine. So our vending machine took the blunt. This was on a 270 uh, caliber. So here, let's show him real quick. All right. So so Joe was standing here and walks up. He walks up. Here here's the firearm. Okay. He so checks it. Employee goes like this to check it, and as he is, uh, he cannot pull the bolt. He takes the lever and pushes it to the forward position, which causes it to discharge. So let's show them in the safe direction that the gentleman was in, okay? Get a close up over here. The gentleman was in this position. It actually fires right here in the side of our vending machine. It goes in right here. Sorry about that. Through the second layer. And then it will go through another layer here. It blew this side out. I don't know if you guys can tell. Yep. All right, and then it actually fragmented on the back side, and it's hard to see in there. Let me turn this real quick. And this is what it looks like through the back side. Oh. 
All right, so bottom line is safety, safety, safety. Uh, many of you have seen this jar already in the past. This is, it's been emptied twice now. This is a jar that we keep on the counter to demonstrate the empty guns that have come into our shop. And what I mean when I say that are, we are told are empty and are safe. And when the employee goes to clear it, a round pops out of the chamber. So the most important part of this video, guys, is to definitely share it to make sure that you kind of show awareness for firearm safety and the situation that we were put in. Just if we can save one person's life or if we can teach someone a little bit about safety, hopefully that this video does that. Absolutely. Guys, thanks for watching. Please share.